Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So, in this session of physics, we shall discuss about motion. So, moving on to the topic called motion. So, physics is nothing but is a study of matter and its motion in space and time. How these five stages of matter will move in space and time. So, motion that is movement from one place to another is very important in physics. Okay. So, first, what is motion? So, motion is nothing but it is movement of a object from one place to another that is nothing but motion right so it is a process of moving or being moved so it can move on its, itself or someone has to move that is applying an external force right so when the body changes its position with respect to its surrounding the body is said to be in motion right so mechanical motion is of two types one is translation or linear or next is rotational or spinning right so this is called translation or linear motion and the other one is rotational or spin motion so a bicycle tire spins or rotates to move it forward right so hope you can see on the screen so bicycle tires are rotating so when they are rotating they are moving in rotational or spin motion and as they are rotating they are moving forward that is called translation or linear motion right clear with this so bicycle is rotating it is having rotational or spin motion and as well as they are moving forward that is translation or linear motion then what are the different concepts in motion okay so first is distance and displacement i've already discussed in physical quantities what is the difference between distance and displacement so the minimum distance between two points is nothing but displacement while the actual path is called distance suppose i want to move from A to B, I can move like this, right? Suppose this is distance. So, but what is the shortest distance? This is the shortest distance. So, shortest distance is called displacement. And the actual path is called distance. We have already seen distance is a scalar and displacement is a vector. Okay. Displacement is a vector and distance is a scalar and distance and displacement both have SI unit called meters. Their unit is in meters and in CGS system it is centimeters, right? I've already told you the same thing, right? So distance is actual path and distance is a displacement is a shortest distance, okay? Moving on to other concepts in motion, then what is speed and velocity? So, for distance we have speed. So, speed is nothing but distance by the unit time or di distance covered per unit time. So, as distance is a scalar, speed is also a scalar, right? And what is velocity? Velocity is nothing but it is a displacement covered per unit time. So, as displacement is a vector, velocity is also a vector. Both have the, what is the unit? Both of them, they have the unit meter per second. Tell me which one will be more? Is the speed will be more or velocity will be more? Always speed will be more because distance will take a longer time than the displacement right so speed will be more always than the velocity clear with this these concepts in motion okay hope you can see the diagram or uh, picture so speed is speed doesn't have any direction because distance doesn't have any direction velocity has direction that's why it is shown in plus and minus so when i'm moving forward it is plus when i'm moving backwards it is minus for velocity because of displacement which has direction moving on to other concepts in motion acceleration and retardation so what is acceleration acceleration is change in velocity per unit time this is called acceleration so it is nothing but meter per second per second right so this is nothing but meter per second square change in velocity initial velocity minus final velocity or final velocity minus initial velocity by time okay generally we have acceleration due to earth's gravity is 9.8 meter per second or 900 9800 centimeter per second square 9.8 meter per second square that is a unit of there's a value of acceleration due to earth's gravity 
suppose my mass is 10 kgs right my weight should be mass into g right so 10 into 9.8 right so 98 kgs like that okay then what about acceleration here a car increases its speed from 20 kmph to 30 kmph in one hour its acceleration will be 30 minus 20 by 10 right so sorry that is one hour so 10 will be the acceleration okay then what is retardation it is when velocity decreases with time is called retardation so opposite of acceleration is nothing but retardation decrease in velocity with respect to time is nothing but retardation and what are the equations of motion we have generally we have studied all these things in the school uh, days hope you remember all these simple relations ex ex exist between these quantities like distance velocity and acceleration so they are expressed in terms of equations of motions generally we have three equations of motions so first is final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration into time and s is the distance covered is equal to 2 into initial velocity into time plus acceleration into square of the time and the final velocity square is equal to initial velocity square plus 2 into acceleration into distance these are some of the uh, equations of motion generally we have whenever two two variables are given and we can have the th third uh, variable okay clear with this so moving on to distance and time graph okay generally they have a question what does the slope of distance and time graph gives generally distance is equals to speed into time right so distance by time will give you speed or velocity generally we can say the slope of distance and time graph will give you speed or velocity so distance and time graph is a plot of distance traveled by body against time so it tells us the journey made by a body and its speed so slope of the distance and time graph will give you so when i plot distance on the y axis and time on x axis the slope will give me the velocity or speed remember this so if i have a straight line it is called uniform velocity okay or uniform speed if i have a zigzag line it is not called as uniform velocity or uniform speed it is called as non-uniform motion if i have a uniform velocity it is called uniform motion if i have a non-uniform velocity it is called non-uniform motion okay so here see the velocity is increasing then it is steady then it is slowly retarding okay this is called non-uniform motion and this is called uniform motion clear with this so distance and time graph its slope will give you velocity or speed then what about velocity and time graph generally distance is equals to speed into time or velocity into time so what about velocity and time graph so velocity and time graph is a plot of velocity against time and the slope gives you acceleration right generally acceleration is equals to velocity by time so when i plot velocity and time the slope will give me acceleration this is obviously constant acceleration or uniform acceleration we have already seen this is termed as the uniform motion when i have a uniform velocity the motion is said to be uniform motion okay first it is increasing then it is constant then it is slowly decelerating or retarding okay this is about the velocity time graph so hope you are clear with this part one of motion topic we shall meet in the next topics of physics thank you so much